Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from What Have Gazette, here with the next war recap video. This is the war that you guys saw um, in the last two videos, uh, the live on war day, as well as the fails video. Uh, today we're looking at some of the best attacks that I could find to show for you guys. Um, Canada A, they were arguably an engineered clan. I'm not going to try to label them as anything. Uh, so I'm not going to say they were definitely an engineer clan. They had a few bases that were uh, in the Town Hall 9 mix, but they had Town Hall 10 troop space. So, you know, call it what you want. Uh, wasn't the most even grounded war, but still we fought through it. Won by a comfortable four stars. Uh, they struggled with some of our top bases, but we got the job done. And I think this it helped being on the weekend because this was a random search, I believe. Yeah, this was a random search, but... Um, it's on the weekend, so we have a little bit more time. I wasn't in the war, but um, the people that were did a great job. A little bit of a bigger war, actually. We had more people in Genesis, uh, 40 v 40, which is bigger than we've been in the past. So nice to have some big wars, and it definitely produces uh, many more attacks to choose from. It was actually very difficult to uh, narrow down the number of attacks I wanted to show, because I can't show like 10 attacks in one <clears throat> video, because it just gets too long. So I had to narrow it down to six attacks, uh, they were all awesome attacks. I want to show one Town Hall 11 attack, and yeah, this is a dip attack, technically, because this doesn't have the eagle, so it's effectively a Town Hall uh, a Town Hall 10, defensive-wise, besides the Warden, but he doesn't do much on defense anyway. So it is a bit of a dip attack, but I think I still like showing Town Hall 11 action for those of you Town Hall 11s out there, because uh, dip attacks are very important in war. And that's what the job of the Town Hall 11s typically is in most wars, is to two, is to three-star the top Town Hall 10s. So you can see the Giants do a great job tanking. This is one of the cleanest Town Hall 11 attacks I've seen in a while. Um, perfect Warden ability timing. As soon as the CC troops engage, right as the Queen's engaging, that critical moment goes ahead, pops the ability. The Bowlers have much longer uh, have a much longer lifespan because of that. You can see how many bowlers he has left up along with his queen and the warden still. So here come the miners making their way on in here. Uh, has three heal spells, so plenty of heals to keep them up. And it definitely helps that the uh, there's no eagle to deal with. So they can just kind of make their way through. The Inferno Tower is only level 3, so it's not going to do quite as much damage. But still, he has plenty of firepower. And you can see how many bowlers he has left up because the kill squad timing was excellent. Now they do trigger a few giant bombs, so uh, the, the bowlers do start dying. But the number of miners left up is incredible. Pretty much all his miners, besides a few, um, are still left up. Has that last heal spell. Uh, the Warden will go down right here, but there's plenty of miners uh, to finish this base off. Awesome attack to Sasuk, I guess, is the name. Uh, getting the 3-star in this Town Hall 10. Okay, let's take a look. At a couple uh, Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 attacks, starting with Chaos, and I think he's getting redemption from the, the fails video from yesterday, because this, uh, you guys saw his Queen Charge fail, and this is pretty much the exact same type of attack, but it works out uh, better on this base, possibly because it's more spread out. If you guys watched the last video, you might have saw his failed attack was on a very compact base. At least if I remember it correctly, the base was much more compact. But when it's more spread out, that opens it up for you to be able to do more of uh, sequenced attacks with different parts. It doesn't have to be all at once almost. So he's able to do the same queen charge, get in there. Um, I'm not sure if that rage was needed because remember the rage only does stuff if the inferno is not targeting the queen. But if you drop the rage right, right when the inferno locks on, you're not getting any value. So maybe the ability might have been a better choice uh, doing the ability a little bit earlier than using the rage second. But either way, I don't think it was that big of a deal. Uh, she deals with the CC troops as well. Here come the miners. And I like how he dropped the miners uh, first to get them going because they will take a while. Then he drops the king and a few valks on the opposite side of the base. The queen go does go down, but the healers peel off onto the miners. That was a really weird freeze. I'm not sure if that was a miss tap because it just froze the queen basically so i guess in, the, in a sense he did this with one less spell because uh, he got almost no value for that freeze but that jump spell lets the king get in there get the inferno tower taken out from here it's all about the miners along with the king and a few valks tanking for them uh, has an extra heal spell as well so he can heal them as they engage the top part of the base 
I liked how he uh, drops that, or actually, that wasn't the best heal spell placement, uh, but he does heal up a few miners, actually a pretty solid group of miners there, that did survive that double giant bomb set somehow, I guess they were underground, uh, the king is still up, enough troops to get the job done, that one healer is helping out, uh, that's good to see the healer that peeled off the queen is still alive, healing up those miners, getting great value for that 14 troop space, so yeah, these last few buildings will go down as we fast forward, uh, awesome attack to chaos, and uh, a nice three star uh, to complement the fail we saw in the last video. Uh, okay, let's take a look at one more town hall uh, 10 attack. I think it's number um, eight, just one down here. Gamarco, and he was the oh, yeah, he was also in the last video as the, the town hall 10 attacking the town hall 11, but in this one, he's just being a town hall. 10 attacking a Town Hall 10. So you can see uh, this base is kind of a weird setup. It's very open. There's kind of a big compartment with the Inferno and the Queen right there. And that opens it up beautifully to not have to bring a jump spell, which I talked about a few videos back. The jump spell is something that people bring too much. And that extra spell space that he has now, because he's not bringing a jump, really opens him up to uh, to use more spells and bring a ton of heals for his miners. He has four heal spells for them, so they're going to be healed up uh, the entire attack pretty much. But gets in there, gets the Inferno Tower taken out. Um, sorry about that. Gets the Inferno Tower taken out. There's a hound in, the, in a balloon in the CC, so the queen's going to be kind of occupied on that for a while. But gets that big compartment taken out, and that's all he needs from his kill squad. At this point, the miners can deal with the rest because they have those four heal spells, um, and the defenses are only Town Hall 9 level for the most part. There's a few Town Hall 10 level defenses, but a lot of Town Hall 9 level defenses, which allows him to not have to bite off as much of a chunk with his kill squad. So here they go. Uh, goes ahead and drops that next heal, I think, right towards the bottom. So able to kind of drop those heals at the same time uh, for different groups of miners. That way everything moves to the base very quickly. Gets t uh, that Tesla farm taken care of. A few miners peel off and get the Inferno. So all good there. The third heal spell goes down for the miners uh, at the bottom there. I think that Inferno barely goes down. Yep, the miners get it. The Queen is actually still up after she dealt with the Lava Hound. Um, still has her ability too, so that was kind of surprising, but I guess the Golemites uh, were tanking for her for quite a while. So that last heal spell wasn't even needed, I guess, and has a ton of miners left up. Awesome attack to, I guess, Gamarco or Jamarco. Either way, um, nice attack, dude. Uh, I think we have three Town Hall 9 attacks. Let's get to them. Uh, we have Nate, and this one was... Another air attack. We're going to have two air attacks today, actually. So a little bit different because we see a lot of ground attacks. Although we have seen some air attacks, too, recently. So uh, we th there's definitely a the balance at Town Hall 9 between ground and air, uh, which is nice to see. But this base is kind of common. I think I've seen this base, or at least variations of it, quite a bit um, throughout my Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 career. Not as a Town Hall 10 base, but as a Town Hall 10, I've seen it. But I remember it back when I was a Town Hall 9 actually attacking this base. Uh, so it's been around for quite a while. And this is just one of many ways to beat it. It's coming in uh, if the queen... Sometimes the queen's down south by the king, I think. I think this is a variation where the queen is at the top, which allows you to do a... Um, what is that? A shattered go la loon. And you can tell you've done it right if your heroes are still at full health even though the golems are completely dead for the most part, because that means the golems did all the tanking, and pretty much all the main th defenses are out of the way, so the heroes have a little more time before they go down. The king alone takes out the air defenses, so the queen can get even deeper and start taking out the air sweeper and some testas. So great deployment, great value for that kill squad, and then has excellent balloon deployment as well. Keeps all those balloons moving very quickly throughout the base. The <clears throat> the haste spells uh, get the balloons into each uh, air defense. You can see that last air defense uh, will go down in just a moment as soon as those balloons close in. The pathing isn't the most convenient. They do kind of go to that mortar, then to the archer tower, but has plenty of lava hounds to do the tanking. And I think right here they'll target that air defense. The sweeper is a bit of a nuisance, pushing his balloons back. Uh, that last lava hound pops, but just in time the balloons close in. Uh, nice placement and patience on that haste. Drops it so the, the Testa, the Archer Tower, are targeted quickly and go down. All that's left is a wizard, wizard Tower, and he has that back-end balloon for it. 
Um, that's really important. Actually, two back end balloons. That's so important because otherwise the wizard tower targets your big um, group, your big wad of balloons, and sometimes they're only at like half health. So a, a single wizard tower at the end of an attack can take out like all your balloons, especially if there's like a, um, a red air bomb. So you always want to, no matter how bad things are looking, sometimes you have, people have a tendency, I do especially, to think that the balloons, you need to drop more than you do. When in reality, you only need like two sometimes one, two, three for each defense uh, that you're targeting. And you don't need as many as you might think. So save a few, even if things look like they're not gonna uh, you know, pan out as, as well as you think. Sometimes they do, and it's really helpful having those balloons because it seems like there's always a wizard tower uh, towards the end that is a threat to your balloons if you don't have something to go in there and take it out on the back end. So nice attack there. Uh, this next one is... Um, yeah, this next one is, I think, a new member, Ryan Peck, or maybe a second account. I don't know, to be honest. Um, we have a lot of new accounts that just came into Genesis. I think we're getting some new members. I think there's some people from Alpha here, just a combination of people from different places. So definitely not a lot of new faces for me, at least, you know, especially because I'm not that, um, not that familiar with everything that's going on in the clan right now because of how busy I am. So, uh, not sure who Ryan Peck is, but this was a nice attack and very, very smooth, powerful. Um, just crush this base, really. And this is a Town Hall 9, but it has the Town Hall 10. I'm not sure if, I think with that, the Teslas are only Town Hall 9 level. Um, he might have the extra CC space, but really a Town Hall 9 base and does a great job crushing it uh, with his. 26 26 hero so pretty high level but not maxed out like some other people one thing to notice is how he used all his spells on the valks and on the bowlers that's how you want to do it unless you have you know 18 hogs or some number like that if you only have 10 even 12 hogs in some situations don't bother using a heal they're not going deep in the base i've said this before but i like to repeat things i guess um especially things that are important you don't need the heal spells for the hogs they're just flanking and just targeting a few defenses individually uh use them on your main kill squad that'll get you much more value so pops the queen's ability just for fun at the end there but you can see how many hogs he has how many bowlers he has how many valks he has as well as both his heroes so all around has a ton of troops left up crush this base a nice attack to ryan and then we have one more attack that was kind of fun that I want to show you guys, but a very well thought out attack. Uh, this is JP, something I haven't seen in quite a while, to be honest. Um, quite an investment here. You'll see, I have to fast forward, because he's waiting for the queen to line up with this air defense, drops the poison to slow her down, then right there, perfect timing. All four of those um, lightning spells takes the queen out, takes out the air defense. I'm not sure if you could have done it with three, but I think, I know four definitely will do it. Three might be kind of risky. I forget what level the queen was, but probably like level 30 queen, considering the king is level 31. So yeah, probably the queen might have needed those four lightning spells. But those balloons were perfect. There's no air targeting things in that area. Um, and that's, the base is set up to defend against air attacks because it has all the air targeting stuff, the archer towers, the wizard towers, the air defenses for the most part besides the one that was next to the queen. All of that was on the opposite side of the queen. Because of that, he could drop in a few balloons and lure out only the, the only the CC troops that can target air troops. I think there might be a baby dragon, actually not a baby dragon. There might have been like a Valk or something in there or two Valks that could have um, targeted his queen. But because they can't target those balloons, they don't even leave the clan castle. And what that does is it allows him to only have to deal with the stuff that would be an issue for his balloons. So his queen takes care of all of that. Here come the lava hounds. Here come the balloons. Just swarms this base all around from that top side. There is a lot of air traps because the base is set up to defend against air from that side. But by overwhelming it, he's able to overcome the way the base was set up. That level 4 lava hound does quite a bit of tanking. Now he doesn't have any spells. Um, all he had was the 4 lightnings and the 2 poisons. So his balloons have to move along um, unhelped by any spells but despite that they get in there get they get that last air defense taken out barely the lava um, does explode but the balloons are closing in and they're in too great of numbers uh, the king also goes down at the bottom here 
pretty much a swag king just to take out some trash buildings really but the king wasn't really playing much of a role to be honest uh, so the king was there to help out in case anything went wrong but the balloons got the job done take out that expo go ahead and fast forward to the end here hope you guys like this recap definitely had some great attacks uh, so good job to everyone in genesis pulling off the win here uh, was a spectacular war had some awesome attacks uh, that you guys saw in a few that i wish i could have shown but just can't show every good attack because there's so many to choose from so yeah um let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll try to have some you know defensive videos maybe some live action other type videos coming out uh, this week so stay tuned be looking on the channel for that stuff coming out real soon and i'll see you guys then uh, by sectatron out